Good evening, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. How are you all this evening? Wednesday night at nine o'clock. I don't know what's going on with the brightness, so it's quite a bit dark. So I'll just give it a few minutes for everybody to join in. I'm afraid Ewan's not here to start this evening, but he shouldn't be too long. He's on his way back from somewhere, so hopefully he shouldn't be too long. Now, I was thinking something popped into my head last night. Now, if I am picking somebody, I think if I pressed invite, I could go live with that person and maybe give a reading through that way. So maybe if um, we, we maybe try that if somebody wants that, if somebody is happy to do that. So if I'm drawn to somebody and I kind of start picking up on you, if we can maybe press invite and then maybe you can join in. And if you want to share it with everybody, you might not want to. You might like to stay in the background and hide away, which is totally fine. I know a lot of people just watch and they don't actually um, comment or get involved. People just like watching and sitting back and watching other people get readings. So, yeah, thank you. It is quite a good idea. So, Cherie Bowman, just as I read your name, I got quite a lot of pain in my right side of my womb. Have you had problems in there, my darling, or have you been getting pain in there? hi 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 everybody everybody that's joining in thank you so so much hello daisy you say i never say hello so i'm saying hello to you this evening now i don't say hello to everybody because obviously if i said hello to everybody i would just be saying good night to everybody and i actually wouldn't be doing what i'm here to do so uh, last week I tried to do a little bit of teaching and show you, a little, well, try and tell you a little bit of how it works and things like that. So most of you will know that I've only had my gift for three years. I got it through trying to take my life three years ago and now I do this all day, every day. I love sharing it with as many people as possible. So I, without you readers, I would literally be a lunatic in an asylum probably. So thank you so, so much to everybody that joins in and comes along on a Wednesday night to tune in. So thank you. Okay, uh, just just before we was coming on, before you and went out, we were getting a bit snippy with each other and I think he's definitely tuning in to somebody tonight. Um, it could be wherever he's gone just now because they might be snippy with each other or they might be bickering with each other. But it was getting a bit tedious, arguing and bickering. But you know how it works. I'm afraid not, Daisy. I tend not to read for people that are under 18 or under 16 without parental consent. So... Uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I've got a man in my ear and he's doing my head in, actually. Um, I have to... I want to say Damien is important. Damien. Because he gave me the name before I came on live. He's quite a young male. And I get a lot of head pain. So either head trauma or head injury. Or head injury connected to this boy Damien being important and I get a scar or a tattoo right in the middle of the back at the top no not you Claire <laughs> and scar in middle of back thank you um Damien being important Oh, you're from Tunisia but live in England. That's lovely. I try and send as much energy to everybody, everybody possible. <laughs> yeah, they've all been picking up on it, Daddy. Um, I try and share it as much as possible because if we can all do this, should we not all be doing it? You know, our lives would be much better. We'd all be helping each other. We'd all be caring for each other and taking notice of each other. Sometimes we go through life and we don't realise what's going on around us and we kind of see everything through our own eyes, if that makes sense. So we kind of feel like everything's a personal attack or everything's being personally done to us. But actually it's not, it's just showing us something. Lots of stroppy husbands tonight. <laughs> Mine's got a good excuse though because he does channel really, really well. <laughs> Nikki Campbell, just as I saw your name there, my darling, a card fell for you. I'm just writing your name down and the card so that I can send it to you tomorrow. I ask people to wait until tomorrow to message me for the cards and things just because after live, obviously, my inbox just gets totally 
um, swamped. Even though my inbox has actually got less than 18 messages waiting to be seen to, which is pretty fantastic for me, actually. So, Nikki Campbell, this card falls for you and says, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. Pamela, okay. Um, no, I kind of feel like it's a car accident or something like that because it's a major head trauma. A major head trauma. Um, if it was strangulation, it would li literally make me feel like I can't breathe or it would hold my throat or something. So it's the head that's re most important with this guy, Damien. And I get October being important for him. So either he was born in October or he passed in October. And I get a scar in the right eyebrow. Thank you. He's definitely a smoker. Uh, I would even say he smokes dope. Don't. It was on an electric power line. Oh my goodness. And does the rest all make sense, Pamela? Because it all has to make sense with myself. So hopefully that makes sense to you, Nikki, anyway. Thank you. Oh, throwing themselves at me. Now, as everybody knows, when I'm shuffling my cards, if more than one come out, they always go back. So like that, there's two, they go back. He did both. Okay. Um, the scar in the right eyebrow, important. October, important. So it could be around somebody's birthday or anniversary now, which is why he steps forward. Um, it makes me feel like, is his mum also passed, please? Because there is a lady with him or a lady around him in spirit. If it's not mum, it could be an aunt or something like that because she feels quite like a young a young lady as well. We're up to 181 people. <laughs> it's exciting. Share it, share it, share it as much as you can. The more people that join in, the more love we can share. Claire Smith. Claire Smith. Claire Smith, this card falls for you, my darling, and says, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everybody else's needs, and now it is time to take care of yourself, Claire Smith. So, Claire Smith, I'm going to do some more cards for you. Um, I just kind of get the feeling like you really need it. I'll ask his daughter. No problem. Thank you, Pamela. Um, Okay, so Claire Smith, I get a man and a woman step forward for you together and they make me feel like a grandmother energy and a grandfather energy um, and I get an infinity sign or an eight sign being important and I want to say infinity because of the way I'm doing it on my table. Man is alive. Okay. Throwing them at me. <laughs> there's been lots of spiders in our house this week who are you and this petrified of spiders i'm not i had one running about my hair all day yesterday and it didn't bother me so claire smith um i'm just waiting for responses from you good evening darnley emery nice of you to join in Ooh, exciting so the second card for you claire is yvonne and talks about animals that we've lost to heaven his sister is in spirit. Ah, that's fine. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you, sister. So it's not mum, it's sister. That's fine. Thank you. Um, Yvonne says that there are pets in heaven and it could be important in November around a... Not sure about infinity. Is an eight important, Claire? August important or the eighth of a month being important? Um, so yes, it's saying that you have a special bond with animals. You've got some pets in heaven and they're letting you know in November that they are around you. The third card is December and says, Celeste, I am happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in a positive new 
energy. So there are lots of movement going on around you in December. And I kind of feel like both may be applicable. So either you'll be starting looking for a new house or you'll be going through a process of starting to move um, house. But also a new work situation will be opportunity in January, I feel, being important. I also get a problem in the right ear. So do you know, did somebody... Has somebody around you been having a problem in the right ear, please? And again, is October important for you? Because you'll always get it around an important birthday or anniversary. Birthday. Anniversary. Babble books everywhere. Right, horror. I'm just trying to see if um, Claire Smith has responded to my cards or what i've said so far hopefully that will make sense to you thank you and i also get a lot of pain in my left wrist with you yes i am very busy claire <laughs> but i wouldn't change it for the world absolutely not i love doing what i'm doing can't get a response from his daughter sorry not a problem at all pamela somebody said that his sister's also passed so it could be connected that way he's quite a strong energy anyway and he wants to sh send love come through and bring support to somebody so yeah i see shropshire there yes we are going down to glasgow Woo! the 27th of this month we start the tour well we'll call it a tour because we're traveling but it's not a tour like normal people my little girl has ear problems but not sure the rest i'm pregnant due baby in february so get carpal tunnel ah okay that's fine so is granny and granddad important would they step forward to bring you love and to let you know that everything is going to be okay you've maybe been worrying about somebody or you've maybe been worrying about your own situation and they just want to know that they're happy at peace and they do love you very very much Thank you. Your granny gives me quite a fast-paced talker. She likes to chat quite a bit. <laughs> and a good laugh. So I just saw 200 people there watching. Whoop, whoop. It's exciting. Yes, lots of exciting times ahead. And we are going back up to Sky again in December as well. Claire Smith, yes, they would. Fantastic. Um, they come around at this time because it's an important month or because there's something special going on this month. And they just want to know that they send you much love. Thank you. So I do get quite big breaths with one of them. So one of them's been struggling with breathing or one's had problems with the chest or throat area being important. And also I do get cancer in the family, whether somebody's passed from cancer or somebody around you has had cancer and came through it. I get a lot of stomach issues and that to me is my sign for cancer. Good Hello. evening, Mr. McBride. Hello, good evening everybody. Sorry, I'm a bit, wee bit late tonight, guys. I'm just going to stick the kettle on and get us a brew. I've been running about like a blue-ass flea. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. No rest for the wicked, guys. <laughs> how did you get through it? Because I just don't know how to live anymore. Lisa Perry, well, I wasn't obviously getting through it, which is why I tried to take my life. But that is also why I've came back to kind of... Um, that's why I came back to try and share it with everybody and help other people never get to that rock point, you know, rock bottom. If you do need help or support, you can message me and I will always try and help as much as possible. Yeah. Anne McLennan, yeah, of course, the two of us. Um, Anne McLennan says, when are you in Inverness? 18th of November, we're on at the Chieftain in Inverness. Anybody wants any tickets, contact Deborah Richards. Yeah, Deborah Richards for contacts for that. Um, no, that's not Deborah Richards, that's Jackie Uppert, the uh, chieftain. You sure? Yeah. Apologies. That's fine. <laughs> Two sugars, you and please. Hey, on, guys. Can't see you live, but can see the messages below. But the video just like trying to load. Maybe the communication between US and where you are is not working at this moment. Ah. You and you and evening you and my scaredy friend of spiders. Hey, <laughs> that's huge. Aberdeen, I'm afraid I'm completely fully do, fully booked in Aberdeen until at least December. Um, I think I've got one or two group things for Aberdeen, but they are um, 
there for a group of 10. There's no more one-to-ones in October and there's no more one-to-ones in November, I'm afraid. Um, I know a few of you might have seen um, a lady who was quite annoyed with me the other day because I told her November, but there wasn't actually one in November. So I do apologize for that profusely. Up to 209 people, 212. Woo! Do you think we can get 300 tonight? That would be fantastic. I miss you to the rain. Gemma Guyon. Gemma Guyon, as I read your name, I have to write that down actually. Gemma Guyon. I might not have said that correctly, I hope I have. Um, Celeste fell for you and says, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is just in the works. This movement will usher in a positive new energy. Beautiful card. Quite a few of you is moving at the moment or getting on the way to move. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I love it when people say that to me. A fire walk on Friday evening for Scottish Court Death Trust. Please, can you ask my angels to guide me and be my side? Definitely, Fran. Definitely, my darling. Fran Yeah. Thank, thank you so thank you much. So much. <laughs> You've got more patience than we do. Yeah, definitely. To the go back. Thank you. To the go back. So, um, is February important for you, Gemma? Or the number two? Connecting with the number two. Um, thank you. Okay. Now, I've got the song Pearls, the winner. Do, 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 do. She wrote the na, 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 piano. I don't know all the words. <laughs> I don't know what you're on, yeah, so I've got a lady called Pearl being important. Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys. So yeah, Pearl being in spirit. She's an older lady. I would say she's in her sixties or seventies when she's passed. Oh, she loves life. Loves life. Very active. And I kind of feel like she was really active up until the very end. I've got terrible heartburn tonight. Is it yours, Carol, or is it somebody else's? And if it is yours, don't give it to me because I don't want it. I've had heartburn the past two or three nights and it's been an absolute nightmare. Right, so I've got Pearl. 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 That's how she says it in my head, Pearl. Pearl. She's, yeah, she's Probably got a bit English. of a funny accent, yeah. Very English accent. <laughs> oh, thanks, I know. People like my top. Thank you to... It was a gift from a gift Susan from, Chaplin. Yeah. I need to see this bad boy. Look at that. Came all the way from... Where was it? Thailand. Yes. That's quite a groovy top, eh? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yes, I do have some card readings available for tomorrow. Not many, but a few. So, yes, Pearl. She's an older lady. Thank you. She makes me feel like she's had quite a peaceful passing, so I kind of feel like she's... Been in bed when she's passed. My pearl, not English, honey. Okay, sorry. I'll try and take my heart then back. <laughs> <laughs> so, she makes me feel like, as I said, quite a lively kind of lady. I feel she's quite small and petite. She looks after herself really well. And I kind of feel like she's been independent right up until the end. And I get Bob also with her. So I kind of feel like Bob is husband or partner, Bob or Robert. If it's not a husband, it could be a son. Pearl and Bob and Robert. Corned beef has to blame. Oh, sorry, you want me to move it? Two seconds. You move over this way a bit. Try and What's squeeze that? us in. Squeeze us into this. Sorry, I'm not I'm not reading the comments to see if somebody can take this. Um hopefully somebody can take Pearl. Pearl and Robert or Pearl and Bob. Oh my God, my grandma Eve died recently and her husband is called Bob. She 
was at a care home. For no, I don't think it's there. No, I don't think it's that one, I'm afraid. Because I get pearl being important, so pearl is definitely important because that was the first thing they gave me. So that's the most important thing. Um, Nicole Murison. Nicole Murison. Just writing your name down in the card down because otherwise I forget. That's better. Hello, Ewan. Hello. <laughs> Next time I come and see you, I'll take the Subaru, show you and your son how we drive up here. That sounds good, Lindsay, but I will be getting in the car. I'll be getting I'm, in the car. I'm, I'm a fairy. And I'm a petrol <laughs> I was brought up to not kill racing circuit, so I'm up for that. Nicole Murison, this card falls for you, my darling. And Aurora says you are flying high right now, which may threaten others. But don't descend because others will soon become inspi inspired by your example. So this card is saying that our work is going really well at the moment. There might be some bitching around you. There might be some jealousy around you. But you've just to ignore it and to keep progressing higher and keep moving forward. Eventually, these people will wish they would follow your suit. And then they would be where you're going to be. Absolutely beautiful card. Thank you very much for taking that card. Hello to everybody just yeah. tuning in. We're on 198. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. It keeps going over. Just keep going over 200 and then back down again. Yeah. You think we could get to 250? That would yeah. be pretty cool. I know, bumped into Thank a few you. folks today. Nicole Smerdin. Hello. Hello. Declan as well. Hello. Heather Gordon. This card fell just as I read yours. Thank you. Okay, so I get last breath being really, really important, Heather Gordon. So either you was with your mum when she passed or you feel like you missed her passing because the last breath is really, really important. She does give me something to do with the chest being important and I get a problem in this part of the... Okay. Yeah, here being important. So Melina is a confusion card and says you're confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. See, do do research or seek expert advice. So this is card is saying please look deeper into the situation before you make anything of it or before you actually move forward on it. Um, I'm going to do some more cards and hopefully it can give you the answers to the questions that you need. Thank you. So the time is always important. So 22 minutes past nine. Could this be time of passing or time you last spoke to mum? Normally the time of the read is, reading is really important. So hopefully that will make sense for you. Thank you. Um, what a lovely lady. Thank you. Sand between toes. I don't know. Yeah. Sand between toes? Yeah. Okay. And between toes. Mm -hmm. Do you like going on the beach or are you close to the beach? So the second card, Heather Gordon, is Rosetta and says, November time, your children are going to meet, need you more than normal or you're going to need your children more than normal. It could be you work around children or you work with children. <laughs> and this is really important. Sorry, I feel quite sickly, actually. I feel like... Um, she gets quite sickly or she did get quite sicky before she passed. And I kind of feel like I'm a bit nervous or I'm a bit unsure about eating things or doing things because it might make me feel even worse or it might make me feel quite sicky. You and you lost your tongue? No, <laughs> not today. I'm just settling in. The third card is December time and is Yvonne and says... You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are happy and cared for and watched over by angels. Beautiful cards. So I'm just going to write these down. Where are all you guys watching from tonight? Let us know where you are watching from. Unless Dina's already asked that question. No, I haven't. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know if we're up for trying that new function on it. Yeah, I was telling them about that. And what was but the it doesn't. Quite a few people said yes, they would, oh. but it doesn't come up on everyone, you know. So I think it only, only comes up on people that are not commenting to invite them. I'm not sure. No, people who are yes. I think that's what it is. No, no, because you get you get to decide. You get to choose when you push that no, special I, button. Yeah, I only get that. Yeah, but when you push that, you enter a person's name. I think. All oh, right. Okay. Because look, when I push it on mine. Oh no, that sends a request to join Dina. Ah, okay. 
All right then, so if that, that says if I pick you or I come to you and you want me to do it through that way, you send me a request and I will connect it if you're the person that I'm talking to. Yeah, but don't all just point out my yeah, don't this all on send, the end. Don't all send me a, a request now. <laughs> all right. I'm going to pick... Oh, Karen Park. Karen Park, that card just fell for you as I read your name. Karen Park, stop worrying about money. The money is coming. It will come to you just as you need it. The more you stress about money, the less you have. So please, please don't worry. November, we are having a small service to bury my mum's ashes. Thank you, Heather. Um, yeah. Hopefully, this all makes sense to you, what I've said so far. If you do need a copy of your cards or anything like that, message me tomorrow and I'll send them. Mum -hmm. sends masses of love to let you know that everything is well, she's safe and sound, and she's arrived on the other side. Can I ask, has Dad also passed? Because she makes me aware that there is a man with her. If it's not her husband, it could be her father. So she she wants you to know that a man came to meet her, whether it's her husband or her father, but she lets you know that it is a, a strong male. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Hopefully that makes sense. Sorry, you went. No, when people push that button, I think um, everybody else can hear it. So they're getting the, the voice from you and the voice from the person that, if, that you choose the cards for if they decide to go join live, in. join in live with you. Okay. I don't think their image comes up on the screen, but their voice does. Lee Jackson. Lee Jackson, when I say your name, I just get this massive smile. smile. Oh, um, thank you, Julie. Thank you. I don't know what's wrong with my left eye, but Julie's got a problem with her left eye, or you've been having problems with your left eye. I know you've been going through a hard time for quite some time, and hopefully now things are starting to smooth out for you. Shanti says, I am the... I am the angel of peace. I bring you a new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. He says that life has been really bumpy recently and the, the, the path hasn't been smooth. Things haven't been going to plan or things haven't been going the way you do, truly need or want them to. So Shanti says, I am the angel of peace and I bring a new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Yeah, close all your apps, guys. If your chat and stuff's freezing, close anything else that's open and just open, yeah, just, just open, open this the and it should work okay. So, Lee Jackson, I hope that all makes sense to you, my darling. Blowing kisses, mm -hmm. sending kisses oh. to you. I felt like blowing a kiss here, okay? Oh, did you? But you didn't do it. No. You have to just do it. Don't think about it, just do it. We are down in Morecambe area, Lee, end of October, start of November. So if anybody's in Glasgow and want us to come, message. If anybody's in Morecambe or Lancaster or Preston or Blackpool, message us and we'll get your name down for there. Anybody in Shropshire, also please let us know and we will get your name down for that. And then we will be down in London, mate. <laughs> London? Yeah. Can't yeah, wait. Just a brightness on your screen. Drag down yeah, I wondered top. what it was doing. Why it was doing that. Again, drag down again. No, no, that one. Clear of them. Just, no, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> goodness. There Is that go. better now? <laughs> Come to Hello to everybody. Some... People still joining us? Hell yeah, I know. We're still sitting at 195 people. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo! Oh, I don't know, Becky Ramage, I'm a Lancashire lass. I might melt if I go to Yorkshire. No, you're <laughs> not. Uh, I'm only joking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm from Lancaster originally, but I've lived all over. I've lived in Dublin, I've lived in Aberdeen, I've lived in Nern. I've only lived in Dumfrieland, which is near Dumfrieland, and then in a wee place called Skeland, and then up to Nern. Thank you. Lee, just as I say your name, there's another card falls out, my darling. Archangel Raphael falls. He's a really beautiful, beautiful, powerful card. And he says that you are healing. He says, I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself. You are a healer like me. 
So that saying, people that have got issues or people have got problems will always come to you because they're drawn to you. They get healing from you. Sorry. Get healing from you. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself. So please, please know that Julie is doing everything she can to make it as easy as possible to help you as much as she possibly can. Thank you for taking those my gosh you give me such bad indigestion it kind of feel like i'm going to keep burping till i be sick that's kind of what it feels like burping that's and sickness really so that's what my heartburn gets like well i'm not getting the heartburn bit i'm just getting the sicky burpy bit oh. pauline harrison the name pauline harrison yeah. And just write your name down in the card down so hopefully if you message me I can send it to you. Just private message me tomorrow Heather and I will send it to you. Isabella for Pauline Harrison says yes the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectation. So that card is saying, just go for it. Don't stress about what's going on. Just go for it. Either it's a new work situation or you're doing something for yourself. Oh, you make me tired, Pauline. You need some sleep. So whatever you're doing for yourself, now is a good time to do it. Don't question it. Don't analyse it. Just go forward with it. <coughs> Sorry. And I get a lot of pain all around, like the bottom of my right ribs. Pauline. Your messages are, we're able to see your messages, so. Yeah, we, sorry, we do see pretty much most messages, I think, but we don't always respond or we can't always respond to them. 178 people we're still we're watching. Whoop, whoop. Keep sharing, keep loving, keep, keep liking. Sharing. The yeah. more people that join in, the more people that share the love. Can I clear? Isabella is my pal's past... Mum's name, not been sleeping because of rats. Oh my goodness. So I don't know who that was for, I'll have to put it back. Because <laughs> it fell out. I get a really sore back. So you have a really bad back, Pauline. Thank you. That was for Kimberly O'Keefe. Nothing. I just said Athena. I thought you said Athena. No, I said Athena. Oh. <laughs> uh, Kimberly O'Keefe. Yep. Athena falls for you and says, now is the time to stand up for yourself, speak out for yourself. If you've got something to say, then say it. You may feel that you're going to upset somebody or offend somebody, but it needs to be said. You are a very strong, independent woman. And when you've got something to say, you know it does need to be said. So try not to worry about how it's going to be received. Just get it out there and say what needs to be said. Oh, my goodness. You definitely need a siesta. Yeah, I definitely need a siesta. <laughs> I was tired when I woke up this morning, so I'm absolutely <laughs> okay. exhausted now. So all of you start hassling you and to get his cards out and get his jabber kids. Jabber. Don't call me jibber jabber. No, I called the what you were saying was jibber jabber. Viv Gunn. Viv Gunn. As I read your name, Paul, in past couple of weeks, yes, no couch or bed with rats and the fleas had to empty the house with love asleep. Private message me and I will send you a link to help you with sleep. Um, I use a lot of meditations on YouTube because they're free. Yeah. They're not putting anything into your body. You're not going to wake up feeling groggy or, you know, anything like that. You're just going to wake up feeling so much better. So if you do need a meditation, message me and I'll send you a link. So, Viv Gunn, this card falls for you, my darling. Bridget. So, Bridget can mean a couple of things. Generally, it means that there's been a flat move going on around you, either you or somebody very close to you. And this flat move isn't exactly right at this time. So maybe be careful, look into all options before you move forward with it. It can also indicate that there's been arguments around you, friction around you. Maybe you're being more cautious than normal. Debbie Richards, yeah, I do sound breathless because I've had this pain in my like right rib lung area since I've came on. I don't know who it is, but I kind of feel like it's connected to the first guy, Damien. 
So hopefully that card makes sense to you, Viv Gone. My cards are out. I'm just connecting, guys. I've been feeling really lost lately. I've been waiting for a while for a message from Julie. Uh, that'll be why she's came through tonight, Lee, if you've been feeling a bit low. We are coming down. If you'd like to meet up, I would be more than happy to meet you. Even just for a coffee? Yeah, even just for a coffee. They're jumping. They're jumping. Thank you. Jumping Jack. I know. Right. Okay. So, Betty. Betty, ooh, Betty. An older lady. I'm going to say she's about 68 when she's passed. When you said that reminded me of Frank Spencer. Ooh, yeah. Betty. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Curvy lady, olive skin, dark hair. And I do feel like there is some connection with, I want to say Northwest. So I don't know if it's like Lancashire or, or Liverpool or something. Betty. Ooh, Betty being important. Anybody take her? Um, I believe she's about 68 when she's passed. And I kind of feel like it's the heart that's made her pass. So she's passed from a heart attack or a problem with the heart that's made her pass. Um, Is she a big woman or a wee woman? She's a curvy lady. Curvy. Very curvy. She's got quite olive skin. Pauline Harrison, my granny is Betty. Ah, okay. Was she in her late 60s when she passed? Did she pass from the heart, please? Because it has to all kind of make sense. Yes, don't make it fit. No, we don't make it fit. Danny Gretchen, I have to give you this card. It says, take action. You're in touch with the truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. So I'm writing it down, Danny Gretchen. And I'm also trying to keep an eye out for whoever takes Betty. Massive shout out to someone's watching from Brazil, Tiago Faroni. Oh, hello. Send a shout out to Brazil. Hello, Brazil. Hi, Brazil. <laughs> it's amazing how far we reach. You all know, we get people all over the world tuning in and watching. So we are very, very blessed and Boys, very, very and privileged. Lucky. Thank the angels every day, even if we have a proper shitty day we still thank the angels Dina doesn't like me doing it even if we're arguing before we go to bed I'm like thanks angels for arguing today I'm like what you think what you think thanks for we've been bloody arguing for the last two hours I know but you still, still like to say thank you for all the good and the bad I know definitely no Dina she had dementia and was in her 80s okay no, so no Betty's definitely late 60s I want to say 68 69 curvy late curvy big lady heart attack and I feel Northwest is important. Sometimes people don't take it while we're on here. So some people wait until we're off and then they private message. Yeah, it's quite personal. And so yeah, sometimes people don't want to. So some cards have came for whoever takes Betty and I'll just write them down so that I can send them to whoever claims her. That's the way we work. So you and get having a feel. I'm having a feel. Just have a feel. Not a me. How no likes. Because I want to be able to be in a good feel right now. How no likes. Because we're on live. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna have a fag, I think. Yeah, have a cigarette. Have a cigarette, please. Um, we're the right in front. Yeah. yeah. Sorry for all you non-smokers or you're giving up smokers. Yeah, we shouldn't people really trying be to smoke. We shouldn't online. be smoking online. We even hate drinking online. But we do it for spirit, guys. Not literally. But the cards are out. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> right. I have to, kind of get, my breath. I have to get my breath back with this woman. She's a smoker as well, definitely. You know, I think I've kind of felt this lady before. She feels a bit familiar to me. Either that or it's somebody in my family and there's somebody in my family watching and just not saying hello. Mm -hmm. You need me to oh. sell a tape the top again. Does it keep on sliding? No, no, it's not that. It just it's seems to... It's me because I'm nudging the table. I'll keep on fat arsing about with my feet. Stop moving about. Tut, tut, you two. I'm I know. Fidgety. It's our bad habits. The cigarettes are out of shot. They're only going to be in shot when they're taking fucking things. Good evening. People are still tuning in. Woo! Mm -hmm. 
Still at 180. 185? 186? It's going up. It's going up. Keep sharing, guys. Keep sharing. The longer, the more people that are watching, it gives us kind of energy. It's like plugging us in. Danny Gretchen, yes. I believe your child turns your bath off. And I know you think, well, it was just a baby, you know, how could he do that? But when they're in spirit, they can do whatever they want mm. because they don't have a physical body to hold them back. So they're walking, so, they can walk and talk and yeah. anything, open doors, Danny, anything. Danny, know that it is your little boy that is turning the bath off because he finds it funny, especially seeing you running back and forth. Whoop, whoop, ewan has got the cards out. Cards out. <laughs> Hi, Mom. How are you? Have you tried vaping? Oh no, I don't want that. Yeah, popcorn one. No thanks. I can stop smoking when I want to stop smoking, but I am so tuned in to other people Hi. that their, their, their craving makes me weak. I know, we beat ourselves up because we constantly say to ourselves, hey, we're, no, we're not in, doing this anymore. In control. We're not doing this anymore and we're then we do it. We're not doing this and then the next day we grab a cigarette or we go to the shop and get a bottle of wine or... And it's just like... It's just the way we have to be. Like we just have to change accordingly yeah. every single day. Every single way, yeah. Thank you. That keeps wobbling. Oh. <laughs> that. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki Gray, have you still got sore teeth? Because my teeth just started hurting when I read your, your comments. If you've got sore teeth, you can keep them. Thank you very much. I'll be drinking on Saturday night. It's my birthday on Monday. Happy birthday for Monday. She is definitely with you, Colleen. Please do not worry. She will buzz in your right ear. I go quiet. Quiet. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Left eye sore. Colleen, do you have a bad left eye or did your mum have a bad left eye, please? Running and watering being important. We're up 204 people. Wow. I can't Thank believe you. there's that many people still Thank watching. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing and loving and continue to support Dina and I. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing, I. Right. I want to just pick somebody and maybe... Do a live thing. All right. So right, somebody it. send me a request now for a live thing to connect and we'll connect and see if we can pick up. Let's do. Let's give it a try. Give it a try. Give this a try. Yes, definitely, Lee. Just message me tomorrow. Right, so go for it. Louise Simpson. Oh, no. who have I got there? The first one I get, I'm gonna. I don't know how I get. Oh, well, they're just add. What? Right, place over Heather there. Cook. Invite Heather Cook. All right. Your name has popped up, so I think I'm inviting you. And it's connecting. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I don't think everybody else can see you, but I think they can hear you. Yeah, Is that I'm okay? Yeah, that's fine. No I, can't, I, can't, I can't see you, Heather. You're not on my phone. Right. I'll have to put my cigarette out. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're not a smoker? Um, a vapor. A vapor? <laughs> a vapor. <laughs> that's why I just put my bag out, because you're trying to stop smoking. Thank you. Okay. So I get a, I get a well done for you. So recently you have achieved in your life or you've done something that is deserving of a well done. Would you say yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And do you get a lot of anxiety, please? Yeah, definitely. And has somebody passed from the heart or had heart problems before they passed? Yes. Thank you. So I get quite an excitable lady who makes oh, me feel sure. like a granny kind of energy. Do you have a granny in spirit, please? I'm not really hot. Um, not that I can recall, no. Okay. So mum's mum's still here. Yeah. Is dementia important in the family? Not that I'm aware of, no. Not that you know of. Okay. So I get a female, an older lady. And is Mary or Margaret important, please? No. Okay. If it doesn't make sense right now, it could be that you come off and somebody says, oh, that was blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. I always just say it as I feel it. Thank you. Heart problems. And also I get a gentleman step forward. You have, um, I want to say a granddad. Mm -hmm. You have a granddad, a granddad in spirit, please. Yeah. Is this dad's dad? No, it's mum's dad. 
move that, okay? Thank you. Um, oh, it gives me quite a hectic energy. Okay. <laughs> he's, quite, he's, quite a, he's quite a cheery kind of man. He's quite a happy kind of guy. Yeah. And I got a lot of pain in the head. So is an aneurysm or stroke important in the family, please? No. Okay. Has somebody had a stroke that's still alive? Not that I can recall. Okay, that's fine. And is um, November important for a birthday or an anniversary? No. I get an 11 important. If it's not November, it's normally the 11th of a month or 11 years being important, but 11 being important. Okay. I write notes, so yeah. afterwards you can message me and I'll take a picture of the notes and send them to you so that you've got them. Okay. Thank you. Um, you're a little bit undeci undecided if you're in the right place at the right time at the moment. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so you're not sure if the work situation you're doing or even the love situation, I kind of feel like you've got lots of questions going on in your head at the moment or lots of things you want answers to. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you've not had a minute to yourself recently. You've been so busy. You've been nonstop, rushing about all over yeah. the place. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, are you quite creative, please? Do you like making things or painting things? No. <laughs> are you planning on decorating at the moment? Yeah, I'm planning, yeah. Well, you've not started, but you've got the idea in your mind. You've got, you're starting to get the vision of what you want. Yeah. Thank you. Um, also, is January important, please, for a birthday or an anniversary? No. Okay. Again, it might be when you speak to family members that they say, oh, that's that, or that's that. So uh -huh. I used to panic when people said no, but I try not to panic no, anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Thank you. So you're also looking at new shoes at the moment, or have you just invested in new shoes, please? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And um, do you have a ring of importance or a ring that's been passed down? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And you are just about running out of perfume or you are needing to restock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's loved one's way of saying they're still around you. They still see everything that goes on. So um, is fishing important in the family, please? No. Does somebody like eating fish? Yeah. Thank you. We had to have fish cakes for tea. And I kind of feel like <laughs> I have to talk about eating fish or working <laughs> with fish being really important. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Um, and I also get, um, when I get something here, it's my sign for either somebody having blood tests or somebody's been having tests done at a doctor's. Mm -hmm. Is that yourself? No, it's my daughter. Ah, uh, okay. And everything will work out okay. I know that's probably quite a lot of worry for you at the moment, but everything will work out okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now, can I ask also, have you lost either through miscarriage or similar? Mm hmm I get a little boy around you. Okay. Do you get cold feet a lot? Do I get cold what? <laughs> cold feet a lot. Yes. When the little boy's around you, you will get cold feet, and it's their way of showing you that they're still with you. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So, do you know if he was lost in November or he should have been born in November? Quite possibly, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> It'll all work out at the, at the end if it didn't make sense. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, I just kind of feel like you just needed a little bit of a, a boost from above yeah. to let you know that everything will be okay because your energy's yes. been quite low, you've been quite stressed. You and your partner have been bickering quite a bit as well. I don't have a partner. Ah, okay. Uh, it doesn't mean to say you can't bicker with an ex. 
No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so there's been bickering or there's been a bit of back and forth. Uh-huh. He needs a kick up the backside. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, no comment. <laughs> I won't see any more. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, I know you need help with your anxiety because I kind of feel like it does hold you back at times. Like you could go so much further or you could push yourself a lot further, but you yeah. go, <gasps> and then kind of back away or freeze up and try and avoid the situation. Yeah. So, um, private message me tomorrow and I'll send you all the notes and things and I'll give you some help with your anxiety. Okay. I ask people to do meditations and five a day, you've heard me talking about that, get naked in front of the mirror and find five things you love about yourself. Oh. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not doing <laughs> that. <laughs> I'll help you with it anyway. So, thank you so so much for being the first ever person to come on here and do this. No, that's quality. Thank you. Your faces came up on my picture now, like <laughs> on my that? phone now. I've seen a lot. Of okay. <laughs> At least you've got clothes on. You're not sitting in your jammies or in the bath. <laughs> no, no. Thank you. So, is October important for you? Did I already ask that? Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. October's important. Mm -hmm. And the time, just about 10, 10 to 10, cowboy, cowboy time, could be somebody's passing or time you last spoke to somebody before they passed. Okay. So, no, 9.50 p.m. Being important. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, I get somebody else. Now, I also get a young gentleman step forward who makes me feel like either a cousin or an uncle or something like that. Do you have a... A male cousin or uncle in spirit, please? No. Okay. Do you have a scar on your right wrist or a tattoo on your right wrist? Uh-huh. And do you know somebody that took their life, please? Yes. He's That's who it is. He's stepping forward to let okay. me know that he's around. Yeah, and, he um, come forward. Sorry? This guy always seems to come forward. <laughs> he obviously quite likes you. <laughs> yeah, I've been told that before. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he can make your energy feel quite low when he's around you because of obviously how he's passed. You know, when he's around, you might pick up on his emotions and you don't even realise that because you can't see him. You think it's yours. Yeah. Um, he, was he a smoker, please? Yeah. And also a dope smoker. I'm not too sure about that one. Okay. He gives me a bit of a woozy head, so if it's not dope, do you know if he was on medication before he passed? Uh-huh. And this wasn't the first time he tried to do it. Right, okay. He makes me feel like he tried twice before. Okay. He's quite cheeky. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, and he can be a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He likes chest. Oh, I'm very aware. <laughs> I'm hiding it from him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Please know that he will never go away. He'll always be around, around you, always watching over you and kind of looking after you. Um, he sends you a lot of love and just wants you to know that he's always there. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. thank you so, so much for taking that message. I know. And thank you for coming on live. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm not sure how we'll disconnect you now, so we're going to have a try. <laughs> thank you so, so much. And I'll send you a message with all these notes tomorrow. Okay, my darling? Okay. That's lovely. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Right. Now, where do we go in there? <laughs> I don't know. I love my request. No, that's, that's not, not it. That, right? That's not it. <laughs> Are you getting an option on your screen? Uh, right, yeah. well, there we go. Hold on. I think... There we go. That's <laughs> nice. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> Thank you. We're up to 260 people watching. Wow! 
just tuned in. What's all this newness? I want to do this. It's cool. Not tonight, though. I'm in my gym jams. <laughs> yes. Yeah, from now on, you still have to be careful where you're yeah. watching from. You have to be that makeup on and yes. tidy your house. Okay, so the next person to send me a request, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna load up and I'm gonna do some cards for you. So whoever sends me the next request, let me go into it. So anybody send me a request to go live and I will respond. You need to close out that. So All right, that. okay. Is anybody sending me a request? Who's who wants to be next? They've <laughs> all gone shy now. Because you can play on the screen, guys. So who's up for it? Definitely, de definitely, Danny. Okay, so is somebody going to send me um, a request, and I will. Ooh, that was for Kareem Walker. Yeah. Kareem Walker. I just have to write that. Kareem Walker. This card fell for you, my darling, and it says, Rosetta, you have a divine gift for working with young children, and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. So this card is saying that your connection with children is really, really important, and either your children need you more than more, more than normal at this time, or you need them more than normal this time. An absolute beautiful connection with children you have. Thank you for taking that card. So there's a few people saying I would like one. Right, let me go into the request now and see who there is. That's, that's, that's yeah, option, no, yeah. there's not any more. So um. Oh, that one, that one, that one there. This one? Yeah. All right, I'm going to send this one an invite. And so, if you're up for it, you accept it, and I will do some cards for you over live. live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm in no state for 253 people to see <laughs> you. <laughs> so, your, desk, your guest declined. No. Oh, no, okay, I'm no not, problem. <laughs> So I'll see if I get another one come up and the next one I see I'm going to press. Yeah. I don't know why everybody can't get it. It, came up it comes up ours with a little square and it says invite in it. Most of us don't have the icon. Oh. One, yeah. Thank you. See if they accept. Well, that's been declined straight away, that one. That's okay. No, can't get camera option. That's what it said, can't get camera option. Kelly Patterson. Adriana falls for you, Kelly Patterson, and says, I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So this card is saying listen to your body, and it is guiding you on the right path. It's guiding you to where you need to be. Oh, I get cut off when you request somebody. Sorry. Sorry, guys. It was there, but I think you can only new. do it once. So we are inviting somebody. Somebody's got an invite right now. Yeah. So hopefully they accept. Adriana comes back out, so I think it's for this next person. Yeah. So if you have an invite flashing on your screen, please, please hit accept if you want to. Yeah. But if not, just ah, cancel it. Totally going mad. All the cards are going mad right now. <laughs> yeah, you still all have to be ready next week. <laughs> They're all one thing. Every one of them's one Yeah, I know. They've all gone. That's totally fine. That's cool. That's cool. All right. I'll put that one back because she's not accepting. So. Yeah, cancel that one. Yeah. Thank there you. Thank you. We're going to see what's in there. Cheryl Reynolds. Cheryl Reynolds. Yeah. Yeah. Not one there. Hold on, let me just give this person this card. Cheryl Reynolds, a cash of falls for you, my darling, and says, at the moment you are putting too much time and energy into a situation or person that is draining you. So you're putting energy into things that's not giving you the same energy in return. So please, please be careful who you give your energy to. If somebody's draining you, leaving you tired and exhausted, please, please disconnect from them or step back from them as much as possible. That was for Cheryl Reynolds. 
Right, so I'm going back into here. We sent another request to somebody. No answer from the video request. No answer from my video guest, so she must have gone offline. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Hello. 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 I can't believe we're over 200 people still watching. This is yeah, Dawn is a very new thing for us. Wait a bit, guys. See what you can. You just ah, hit on their name. Okay, so you just hit on their name. Yeah, hit on their name and then. So, hit on their name. All right. So, you saw someone there. What was that one there? Yeah. Brendan. Go for that. Right, I've sent an invite send to an somebody. Invite to You've somewhere. got an invite on your page. If you want to come on and say hello, please do. If you don't want to, just decline it. That's fine, and we'll try and get somebody else. Oh. <laughs> this is the exciting bit. This is easy. Am I answering it? Have I got my eyebrows done? Is my hair done? Is my jams on? And brush up you. Oh, she's watching, but she's not accepting. No. <laughs> okay, so I'll write those cards down for you if you're not accepting right now. Yeah, a lot of people are like, no. Not me. We're in bed. We're in the bath. <laughs> yeah, yep, done. Oh, no, it wouldn't let me accept. Ah, try it again. Mm -hmm. Trying, again. Trying again, hopefully that works. So I'll just read the cards out for Hello. you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 you're, 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 you're nice and cozy there. Oh no, I've got your dressing gown up. <laughs> well, Thank you, Hannah. Hi. <laughs> so I feel like I've got all red and flustered. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Not me, as red as yours. Well, it's not. Thank you so much for accepting. We will get there eventually. <laughs> so, the first card for you, my darling, is Vanessa and says that right now you have a big choice to make within life. Whether it's connected to love or whether it's connected to work, I'm not quite sure, but I kind of feel like it is a big decision and a decision that only you can make. Ask okay. yourself, does if I go this way, will it make it better? Or if I go this way, will it make it better? Know that this card says that you are a really strong, powerful woman. And when you make up your mind about something, you don't often go back on it. So yeah. once you have made your decision, know that you've made it for the right reasons and to move forward with it fearlessly. Thank you. The second card is Mystique, and this is November time. Now, I kind of feel like this is connected to house or home situation, whether you're looking for something else or whether you're looking for works done on where you're living at the moment. Maybe you've been asking yeah, for things. I just fix. moved not long ago, and there's the house is awful. So much needs done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the card says, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So what it's saying is don't give up asking. Just keep asking, keep harboring. And by the end of November, you will get everything that you want. I mean, I we're in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The third card is December, and December brings a bit of confusion for you. Um, I feel like it's around a work situation. I don't know if you want to stay in the same work that you're in, or you're considering maybe doing something completely different in December. Um, again, weigh up all the pros and cons of the different situations and see which one's going to suit you better for your life circumstances, not just for that moment in time. It says you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information information do research or seek expert advice before making a decision it's a really beautiful card now i get quite a strong male energy step forward for you as well is your um dad passed please yeah thank you uh he's quite a strong energy and he wants to come forward and bring you a lot of love 
and mm. let you know that he's proud of you because you're doing really, really well within yourself. Now, he also shows me a car being important. So have you just had work done on your car or are you needing work done on your car, please? I'm stressing about my car. <laughs> Okay, and I also get a problem in either the back right tire of your car needs fixed, or there's something not quite right with your back right end of your car. Okay. Um, right. I kind not of feel right. like it's Thank the wheel God. or the tire. Okay. It could be tomorrow you go out and it's a bit flatter <laughs> than all the others. So I'm really <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, is October is October important for a birthday or an anniversary for you? Not that I can think of. Okay. They'll normally do it around an important time. And the time is 10.05. So do you know what time Dad passed or time you last spoke to him? Because it could be around that time being important. Um, I, I didn't speak to him for years before he passed. I was like a young kid, like nine, maybe eight, nine. Yeah. The last time I spoke okay. to him, so. If it doesn't make sense right now, you can maybe ask people and it will kind of, they'll explain what it is or what it's connected to. <laughs> Thank you. He's always been there for you in spirit. He's always watched out over you. He's always looked over you. Um, he gives me, I get a lot of head pain with him. So did he have a problem with his head before he passed, please? Um, I know he had, I think it was throat throat cancer. He had operations okay. on his throat. Okay. But and I don't do actually you... know the school, what it was, like I was never told. And that was something what, what? strangely, like lately, past couple of weeks, I've been kind of wanting to kind of find out what exactly it is kind of thing. Okay. It kind of feels like either the cancer's gone into his head as well as other places. I don't feel like it was confined to one area. I do feel like maybe once it's been there, it's kind of gone through everywhere else as well. And I get a lot of pain in my right wrist with you. So do you get pain in your right wrist, please? Mm, not really, no. Right. Um, it doesn't feel like a tattoo or something like that, but it kind of feels like either somebody's broke the wrist or somebody's hurt the wrist in the past and they still get problems from it. Do you know if your mum gets problems with her wrist? I don't speak to her. <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> yeah. Don't worry, if it doesn't make sense right now, as I say, it could be your friend comes in tomorrow and she's like, oh my God, I've hurt my arm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if it doesn't make sense right now, it will make sense. Thank you. So, also, you are trying to do a new exercise at the moment, or you're trying to be healthier? <laughs> well, <laughs> well. I said trying. I said trying. <laughs> like, thinking about it while I'm eating the biscuits and my cup of tea at night time. <laughs> <laughs> and was Dad a smoker, please? Yes. Yeah. Which is why... Now... <clears throat> <laughs> he shouldn't be bloody smoking at all. Yeah, I think that was like, yeah, I think he had to stop because of the throat. It literally it just choked me when I have when I have a smoke of that. Thank you. Okay. Now, also, I have to talk about a child in spirit as well, but I kind of feel like your mum lost. So, did your mum have a miscarriage or termination, please? Um, I think she had miscarriages and my sister was meant to be a twin, but it okay. was my sister. Okay. I get a little girl and a... I get a little girl and a little boy, but the girl is younger than the boy. So the boy's older or been lost a lot further back and the girl okay. is younger. And I get September important. So do you know if she lost around September time or baby was due in September? I'm not sure. My mum's birthday is September though. Ah, okay. That's important. Thank you. He's sorry he didn't get to say goodbye properly because that's always been something that bothered you. Mm -hmm. He loves you very much. And <laughs> as soon as you can come to see me, please come and see me so I can give you a big hug from him. Because the only thing they miss is physical touch. Yeah. 
because they get to spend all the time around you whenever they want to, they can do that. But you're not always aware that he's there. So do you get buzzing in your left ear? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be your dad. <laughs> <laughs> anybody from father's side comes in on the left and anybody from mother's side comes in on the right. Okay. So whenever you're getting that buzzing in your ears, which side is it? And you'll work out where it comes from. Okay. Thank you. Is dad's mum also passed? Yeah. It makes me aware that his mum is with him and that his mum's there. You often worry and think, oh, is he on his own? Has he got anybody with him? And yeah, just kind of more him. lately, yeah. Thank you. Now, do you really like trees or is there a lot of trees next to where you live, please? Lots of trees where I am now, yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. It's really, yeah. really nice. <laughs> yeah. I did, I did well with my exchange. <laughs> yeah. So you need to be getting out in nature more a bit. Again, start hugging those trees. Yeah, hug the trees. Make, let them make you feel good. Thank you. And do you have a dog in spirit also, please? Mm, like my grandma's dog. I just have to... Is that your, your dad's mum? Yeah. So I have to let you know that there's a dog with them. Thank you. Okay. And do you want a dog? <laughs> my kids do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did you put the ashtray? <laughs> never even Forgetting played. about me. <laughs> Sorry. Monkey. At least you never put it out this time. <laughs> so, I do feel like there will be a new dog fairly soon. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I like dogs, but it's just the thought of having to walk them in the cold and... And the snow and the rain. Yeah, yeah that's why I've got a rabbit. I can open the back door and he just walks <laughs> yeah, in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. As I say, if you can come and see me, book in and come yeah. and see me so that I can give you a massive squeezy hug from him because that's all he wants to do is let you know that he loves you and he'll never leave you. He'll always be around you. He'll always follow you. Thank you. So, you're in a relationship at the moment? No, no. <laughs> no. Are you talking to a man at the moment, or is there a potential? No. <laughs> How no. I on my Todd? <laughs> well, that might change in the next four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel by the start of November, there will be a man around you, or there will be a man starting to come into your life. Um, and I feel like your dad's sending him because he wants you to be settled and happy. Mm -hmm. That would be a nice early Christmas present, no? Oh, the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a good guy. <laughs> Thank that you. Would, that would be welcome. Nice, the nice good. one's okay. <laughs> yeah. So, November, November for man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, so much for taking a message from your dad. I'll leave his love with you for just now. And as I say, message me tomorrow. Message me tomorrow and I'll send you a copy of all the notes, my darling. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye. See you later. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you need to say goodbye. Well, no, because I mean, I don't say goodbye. Oh, right, okay. so you say goodbye. <laughs> you say goodbye. <laughs> I'm changing colours yeah. right here. Look at me. I'm making a traffic light. Really nice. Right, we're going to get you to pick oh somebody up. Yes, yeah, it's quite fast. I'll do one cards. No, no one. Aye. No. Dexter doesn't work with me anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Don't Dexter. No, no one. Come on. That spider's put me off. I'll put you off in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, now we know what we're doing. We'll be able to do it a little bit more. Yeah, you, you start can. talking. All right, I'm talking. You talk. You and you're so brave. Yes, he is very brave. Very brave. 
I being cheeky to me, she means. <laughs> <laughs> I like a challenge. That's what I like. That's why you married me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely a challenge. Definitely. I mean, it's a podcast, but it, it wasn't. Well, wasn't it? I quite liked that. Oh, it was pretty cool. And it seemed to push up the viewings even more. I think because people are like, oh, what's going on there? Because they can see the response, it's not just me waffling away or you waffling away. Um, we were able to get a bit of a response, which is fantastic. Yeah, instant response. So, yeah. Thank yeah. you so, so much, Hannah, yeah. for that. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Wiping her eyes, thank you. Nicola Callender, I definitely want to do one. Beautiful. Yeah, very brave with an audience. Especially because you never know what I'm going to come out with or what I'm going to say. Oh, no, there's no filter. That's not all right. You're definitely not. No Thank you, Andrew Garrick. Garrick, sorry. Andrew Garrick. Hello, Freya. Hello. <laughs> so, who are you picking? Nicola Fraser. Ooh, Nicola Fraser. I'll do the, I'll do the writing. Nicola Fraser, Ewan is going to do some cards for you, my darling. You can see them are falling out. Okay. And the first one to come out is Zara. Can you see that, guys? And it says on the card here, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and deal safe. So, I don't know. I feel that's been kind of family arguments. That's what I'm feeling towards that. Um, and you've been going through the mill with family members and you're worrying if it's never going to end. But this is telling you the worst is behind you. Things will get better. So just relax. Ask the angels to help you and then give it up to them. Mm -hmm. and don't worry about it anymore. Unless you need for me to say to just give it up. Ask them to help. But once you give it up, it does, it does make a massive difference. Mm, definitely. A massive difference. Eh? Yeah. And it's a beautiful card. The second card is Chantal. That's, this is self-explanatory, so there's, that's the second person Hannah's getting hopefully some loving, and hopefully you are as well. It says, new romance is imminent, either th with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. So if you're, you're with a partner at the moment, and it's it might have been feeling a bit flat, and things are things are going to improve. And if you're, if you're not single, you're going to be No, if, if you are single. If you are single, yeah. yes, you're going to be meeting someone. And that's in November. And that's in November, that card, yes. yes. That is a stunning card. And the front card is Vanessa. This card is a very powerful card, isn't it? Vanessa is a very powerful woman. A very powerful woman. It says, to make, to make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine, divine purpose and which, which, and I can't even speak Which right, way it takes the wind. Spit in my words there. Um, I don't know what I can feel in relation to that. I don't know if that's either to... I feel like it's connected to this. You feel it's connected to that? Yeah. So whether there's a choice between partners mm -hmm. or there's a choice to stay with who you are or go to somebody else. Yeah, that's the two choices. That's what that feels like to me. So in that card, that's telling, to you, telling you to basically trust in your heart and gut as well. Only you can make Only the decision. Can make Nobody else. can make oh, it yeah. for you. Yeah. So trust in your heart and go ask your heart. Don't kind of add, uh, add too much brain input into it because it'll just complicate the matters. Yeah, three beautiful cards. Thank you very, very much. Makes sense to you. Nicola Fraser, if Nicola they make Fraser, sense, yeah. just message and um, we'll send you a copy of them tomorrow. Yeah. So, so he's going to have another shuffle. I'm going to have another shuffle. I'm still learning these cards, guys. I used to be a truck driver until two years ago, and then we doing angel cards. So You've got an issue with Hefner cards, no? We, <laughs> we couldn't put them on live, they're a bit rude. Mm -hmm. A bit rude. Right, I'll go for another three cards, and once the three of them are falling, and then we can actually just go. Hopefully, for the ones. Turn that one over for me, please, baby. Ta. Two. Oh, I'm glad you've enjoyed it, Lee. I'm 
Mm. We love doing a Wednesday night live, absolutely. Generally, Wednesday's normally my day off. Well, I say it's my day off. Not but anymore. I, I end up doing readings most days on Wednesdays because it's supposed to be a day off. But I like doing a live. If I do nothing else and I just do a live, we're happy with that. Yeah. We want to share it as much as we possibly can. Yeah. The more people that tune in and join in with us, the stronger we become and the more energy we can give out to other people. It's after 10. Rude is allowed. No, no, no. <laughs> Not our kind of rude, Catherine, because we are pretty uh, raw. <laughs> yeah, we can be pretty rough when we say things sometimes. And I find myself sometimes I open my mouth and then I silence a room, and that's not always good. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. right. So, who are you today? Jude Henderson. Lovely. Jude Henderson. Yes. Jude Henderson. Okay. Right, the first card for you is crystal. Uh, I know the words are back to front of the image you guys can see. It says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. <coughs> I don't feel this is related to any relationship issues or anything like that. I feel this is either related to either a house or a, a job or even further education. And if you've been thinking about it and been stressing about it and worrying about it and putting yourself down possibly and beating yourself up saying that I'm not, I'm not good enough for this, uh, this is not going to happen. And if you tell yourself those things constantly, it won't work. Can kind of manifest those things into, into practice and then things will happen. And it says have faith, have hope because there is something positive. And once you basically go for it, put it up there to them. And they'll they'll help take you. it away, definitely yeah, definitely. They'll help you. Thank That's you. Card. And that's Fiona, and this is related to the first card, I think. It's Fiona. This is in my interpretation. Mm -hmm. Now that you have asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance, divine guidance and assistance. Work. You deserve heaven's help. It is a work. Yeah, it it's a all work. To, I believe they're all yes. to do the work. They're all to do. Okay, the third card, the third card is more related as well. So you've asked your angels for help. As it says, this is connected to the first. Stress into the max about your, your work, right. obviously, yeah. Please, the more you stress about it, the slower the whole process, process is going to become. So try and relax. Give, just ask the one question and try not to stress about it. Mm -hmm. As I said, it's easy for us to say, sit, sit here and say that. Okay. But please try to do it. And things will come your way. And that's a stunning card, right? Your third card is a fear. Which is an absolutely stunning card as well. Thank you. And it says it is safe for you to be powerful. No, you know how to be powerful. It is a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So, I related to work. So you, you stand this, up for yourself. Stand up for people. yourself and speak up for yourself. Put yourself forward for that role. I say I am good enough for this position. And um, even if other people are telling you otherwise, deep down in your gut, you know that you're good enough for it. But you, you've just got that tiny wee step to step up and then make that big step up into that career. Do you think it'll be a new career or do you think she'll stay in the same work she's in? I think she's going to stay in the same jobs as in, but she's just going to have different roles. Okay. I think she's going to be given more responsibilities. Okay. Um, and the responsibilities are maybe going to shine her, her away from the position or... She's worried about she won't be able to take on the responsibilities. Okay. So, yeah, yeah that's what I feel for most three cards. Thank Good. you very much, Jude Henderson. I, I hope, hope they all again. make sense. Yeah. So it is 22-22. I think we are going to leave it there for this evening. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Thank you, Ewan. Thank you, You're doing a fantastic yeah, job. Thank you all. Yay! For watching and doing that amazing live. So yes, running. amazing reading tonight. Make sure next week you've all got your slap on, you've all got at least the normal top on if you don't yeah. want to come on live with the pyjama top stay on. Stay in the toilet, stay in the bath. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh my God, you are bang on, Jude Henderson. Yeah. High five. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, Jude. See, the more he does it every week, the better he'll get, the stronger he'll get. Week. And I'm sitting in on readings and stuff. Yeah, you are. Asking, so We've been sitting in on a lot more readings. So anybody that comes to the house for a reading, ask me to sit in and I'll give you a lot more experience. Definitely. Thank you again, everybody, yep. for tuning in on a Wednesday Night Live. Yep. We hope to see you Thank all again you. next Wednesday. Good night. God bless everybody. Good Sweet dreams.